Come on in. Hi, my name is Russ Rubman. I'm the president of Gittler Instruments. With this guitar, at three pounds, 31 frets, made of solid aircraft grade titanium, we here at Gittler Guitars hope to bring about the minimalist revolution. It all started about uh, 10 years ago when I took my family to the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. My little guy, who's now 19 years old, said, Mommy, it's a guitar! Don't let Daddy see it! I've been known to decorate our house with my growing collection of guitars and basses, uh, so apparently my son was instructed to save me from myself. Well, of course, I ignored his warning, and when I saw this thing hanging there on display at MoMA, I was just blown away by it. I assumed that it was like a work of art, because it looked more like a skeleton of a guitar rather than an actual musical instrument. Well, it turned out to be the Gittler guitar, as you see here. It's a very functional instrument, not just a piece of art, and there are only 60 of them that are known to exist. It was designed back in the 70s by Alan Gittler, who was a renowned artist and musician. And his approach was, take a guitar and then subtract as many of the unnecessary features as possible from the traditional form. And by doing this, he mastered the art of what I like to call subtractional refining. Bringing the instrument down to a level of pure function and making it more responsive. So by doing away with the body and most of the neck, including the fretboard and all the volume and tone controls, he was able to work towards his finished product, which is a 29 inch long, three inch wide stainless steel guitar weighing only five pounds. It was a miracle of engineering, even for back then. Most guitarists, well, they're going to defend their favorite guitar as being the best design ever made. But this is just a matter of personal taste, with a bit of the emperor's new clothes mentality thrown in. If you'd been told all your life that a guitar should be made from wood, and carved into the shape of a figure eight, and there have to be tuners at the top and a pickup bar across the strings, well, I guess that's exactly what you'd come to expect, right? Oddly enough, for almost 50 years, even the most brilliant originators in the field never thought or dared to step outside that box until Alan Gittler came along. So, back to MoMA. There I was, thunderstruck by that simple little form of a guitar. I made notes right there on the spot and determined that I was going to do my research on the guitar as soon as I got home. Unfortunately, what I had discovered is that it had been made back in the 1970s, crazy, ahead of its time, right? And only 60 of them had been made, and most of them went to notable musicians and institutions like MoMA, uh, John McLaughlin, David Torn, Andy Summers of The Police, who played it on the Synchronicity 2 video. I also found out that the few that were still known to exist sold at guitar shows on occasion for as much as $10,000. Well, it took me two years to finally find one of the original 60 instruments. Uh, there were 500 more that were made in Israel later, but with a different design. The 60 originals were the ones that people look for. But I finally did find one of them, and I got to work on perfecting the design right away, which I did with my friend and business partner, Dr. Colin Joy, a noted scientist with a doctorate from MIT and a government lab pedigree. In my other life, when I am not playing guitar, I run an aerospace company that sells titanium and manufactures parts for the armed forces. I wanted to take my 25 years of aerospace and defense experience in high-tech materials and lend it to my other great passion, music. The idea of a stainless steel guitar made me start to think of all kinds of possibilities for musical instruments. I thought it over for a long time and decided to start with a switchover to aircraft-grade titanium. It's very light super strong, and sounds incredibly good. I wanted to be respectful. I felt that I owed a debt to the Gittler legacy before I continued. So I decided to find Alan Gittler's son, and he was living in Israel, and was well known to be one of the greatest living percussionists on the planet. So I did it, and before long, he was on a plane to New York. We were going to reinvent the Gittler guitar and bring it back to the world. This guitar was already a superior industrial design and very capable as a musical instrument. Our goal was to take every aspect of it and improve on it. We left the already beautiful design alone, but we wanted a guitar that wouldn't stop at just turning heads. We wanted to make something that guitarists would be excited to use as their first 
and primary instrument. We also decided that it would be a premium product and that the world of guitar and bass was long overdue for its own Rolex, Ferrari, or Dom Perignon. We have a dedicated, passionate team here at Gitler with extensive knowledge of titanium, electronics, and both the mechanics and the art of the stringed instrument. We're a small company with limited capital, but a truly revolutionary product. It's extremely sexy, amazingly light, and virtually indestructible. No body, no headstock, it's the first guitar in history with the tuners at the bottom and interchangeable neck profiles. Just snap on a polyurethane neck shape and instantly have the feel of a different instrument at your fingertips. It's also the world's best MIDI guitar. We have an instrument with superb MIDI tracking for synthesizers and we're in development now to create the world's first zero latency guitar MIDI controller, which will revolutionize the industry. We precision machine each instrument to incredibly tight tolerances, and each one is a handcrafted work of art made in America by proud American workers. We sell two versions of this guitar. The classic, which you see here, it has a machined, polished, bright titanium surface. We also sell the Armed Forces Special Edition. It has a military weapons grade finish with a hard anodized coating containing Teflon. It's very smooth, but it has a Rockwell hardness of 56, so it's impervious to scratching or minor damage. It's the same finish used on military weapons in the Gulf. We give 5% of each instrument sale to the Wounded Warriors Project, which we support here with all our hearts. Both instruments have a fret lighting system using micro pinpoint LED lights for fret positioning and come in a deluxe metal case. And we offer a premium carbon fiber case, custom designed by our team as well.